Hi everyone, today's tutorial is about how to measure power factor using Arduino. For this project you must already have Proteus ICES installed in your computer and you must also have Arduino ID on your computer and you should also know how to use Liquid Crystal library in the Arduino IDE and how to use pulse and functions. If you do not know how to do that, you can go ahead and click one of my previous videos to learn about how to do that. So for this video we are going to continue from the previous video of how to measure pulses using Arduino. As you can see that we already have the circuit set up from the previous video over here. And now we need to convert this circuit into something that will be able to measure power factor. So power factor is basically the angle between voltage and current when we have RL or RC circuits and a sinusoidal input is applied to them. The crust and trough of the current and voltage do not fall over each other. Rather than there is a displacement or there is a time difference between the two. And the, this time difference can be converted in terms of angle difference which can be which is known as phase difference and this phase difference the cosine of this angle phase difference is known as the power factor. So in order to measure power factor we are going to use a technique in which we are going to XOR, use XOR and comparators. If you do not know how to use the comparators or operational amplifiers as comparators, you can watch one of my previous videos so that you can you know how to use operational amplifiers as comparators. Okay, so first of all I am going to go to parts and select a few parts that we are going to use in this uh, project, LM. 358 this is a generic uh, comparator uh, operational amplifier which we are going to use as comparator then we need some resistors these resistors then we use since we are going to connect to power circuits after that we are going to choose another component known as optical isolator since we are going to be working on high voltages or power system voltages so we need to isolate our Arduinos from the original power circuit so we will be using 4 and 35 as an optical isolator over here and after that we need a generic XOR to input XOR okay so now I have all the things first of all I need to convert the voltage and current signal from my power system to the uh, square wave so in order to simulate these I will place a voltage signal over here and a current signal over here basically these simulate the input signals from CT and PT okay and now these these are basically sine voltage signals that we achieve from we get from PTs and CTs let's set their peak to 5 volts frequency to 50 Hertz and the time delay for voltage signal is 0 or phase delay or time delay let's study in terms of phase delay it will be easier similarly for peak for current signal will be 5 frequency will be 50 but this signal will be delayed by a phase of let us say 30 degree due to the impedance of the circuit after that now we go to parts we take LM358 comparator place it over here and another over here and connect this to the non-inverting input connect the input signal to the non-inverting input take the power These are basically the biasing voltages 
of the operational amplifier and on the other side or the we are going to crown the inverting input so basically what these comparators are going to do is they are going to compare this input signal with this ground and when this input signal is high they are going to output high pulse and when this input signal is lower than this ground they are going to go to lower pulse or 5 and minus 5 next thing is optical isolator this will ground one side of the signal because this is a diode and diode does not allow the negative cycle to pass and this LED will only blink when there is a positive cycle so half the cycle will be clipped and the remaining half will be passed on to this optical transistor so I'll take two of these and to limit the current in this resistor I will add a 220 ohm resistor over here and over here and ground the other side Similarly, on the output side, we are not going to do anything to the base. We are going to leave the base open. And we are going to add one K resistors over here. And we are going to ground the other side. and we are going to add power over here okay now this these are the points where we need to take our output from now I need to XOR these two signals together what XOR does is when both the signals are low or when both the signals are high it gives us the output of 0 but when these signals are different it gives us the output of 1 which is the time in which these uh, time in which these are not in phase and we need to use that time to be mired and we need to convert that time into phase difference okay now we are done with the schematic now we need to move towards the code so first of all since I have to calculate the cause cause of a function I will include math.h library header file the code is the same which we used in the previous uh, pulse width measurement but we are going to make make slight modifications so I will add two variables over here float power factor is equal to zero and float phase is equal to 0. After this, now in this section where I have measured pulse width using pulse in function, after that I will write down phase is equal to, you can calculate the phase from any time by using 2 pi ft, so 2 into pi which is equal to 180 into frequency which we set earlier as 50 hertz into time which is the time of the pulse width and since this time is in uh, microseconds we need to divide it by 100,000 to convert it into seconds after this we need to convert this phase into 
uh, power factor. So power factor is equal to cos of phase. But since this phase in, is in degrees, we need to first convert it into radians. So we can convert it into radians by multiplying it with 3.1415 and dividing by 180. After that, LCD dot set cursor 0, 0 and we need to display phase and LCD dot set cursor 0 throw 0 column but first row and display power factor. Okay, so that is all with the code. Now let's compile this code and place the hex file in the Arduino over here which I already have. Okay now the code is compiled all that is left is to run and check if our result is okay. So we introduced a phase difference of 30 degree over here between the signals now I'll run it and I'll check and it's yes it is showing me 29.93 or 29.95 or 30.06 degrees of phase difference and 0.87 as power factor okay now let's see if I change the change the angle or the phase let it let me change it to 60 degree let's see now what it shows 59.69 and 0.51 so quite accurate which means our power factor calculation is going okay now all we need to do is connect the input of a CT CT over here and connect the input of, of a PT over here which we but we cannot do that in software we need to do that in hardware so this is quite a good circuit that is all for today if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can remain updated about all the latest work we are doing thank you for watching and have a good day